The extended evolutionary synthesis is an extension of the modern synthesis of evolution which revisits the relative importance of different factors at play in evolutionary theory, revisits several assumptions of the original synthesis, and augments the modern synthesis with additional causative factors in evolution. The extended synthesis includes concepts and mechanisms such as multi-level selection theory, transgenerational epigenetic inheritance, niche construction and evolvability, early history. During the 1950s, biologist C. H. Waddington called for an extended synthesis based from his research on epigenetics and genetic assimilation. An extended synthesis was also proposed by Rupert Riedel, with the study of evolvability. In 1978, Michael J. D. White wrote about an extension of the modern synthesis based on new research from speciation. In the 1980s, Stephen J. Gould argued for an extended synthesis. This was based on his idea of punctuated equilibrium, the role of species selection shaping large-scale evolutionary patterns and natural selection working on multiple levels extending from genes to species. Similar ideas were held by Niles Eldredge author of the book Unfinished Synthesis. Ethologist John Endler wrote a paper in 1988 discussing processes of evolution that he felt had been neglected. Others such as researchers in the field of evolutionary developmental biology called for an extended synthesis based on the opinion that the modern synthesis was mostly centered on genes and ignored the development of the organism, as well as morphological areas of biology. Recent, the extended synthesis is still a work in progress essentially having been launched in 2007 by a paper by Massimo Pigliucci in the journal Evolution, followed by a conference on the subject in 2008 at the Conrad Lorenz Institute for Evolution and Cognition Research. The participants of the conference published a book in 2010 titled Evolution, the Extended Synthesis which has served as a launching point for work on the Extended Synthesis. Several of the topics included in the extended synthesis include, showing the importance of the role of prior configurations, genomic structures, and other traits in the organism in generating evolutionary variations, looking at how increasing dimensionality of fitness landscapes affects our view of speciation, examining the role of multi-level selection in the major evolutionary transitions, looking at new types of inheritance, including cultural and epigenetic inheritance, examining the way that organismal development and developmental plasticity channels evolutionary pathways, looking at how organisms modify the environments they belong to through niche construction, other processes such as evolvability, phenotypic plasticity, Reticulate evolution and symbiogenesis are said by proponents to have been excluded or missed from the modern synthesis. The goal of the extended synthesis is to take evolution beyond the gene-centered approach of population genetics to consider more organism in ecology-centered approaches. Many of these causes are currently considered secondary in evolutionary causation, and proponents of the extended synthesis want him to be considered first-class evolutionary causes. Biologist Eugene Coonan writing on the extended synthesis in 2009 wrote that the new developments in evolutionary biology by no account should be viewed as refutation of Darwin. On the contrary, they are widening the trails that Darwin blazed 150 years ago and revealed the extraordinary fertility of his thinking, reception several biologists have contended that there is no need for an extended synthesis because the modern synthesis is able to fully account for the newer observations, while advocates for the extended synthesis think that the conceptions of evolution at the core of the modern synthesis are too narrow. Proponents of the extended synthesis think that even when the modern synthesis allows for the ideas in the extended synthesis, the modern synthesis being used as a starting point, affects the way that biologists think about evolution. Proponents say that using terms and categories of the modern synthesis distort the picture of biology that modern experimentation has discovered. 
Therefore, they claim that the extended synthesis is necessary to help expand the conceptions and framework of how evolution is considered throughout the biological disciplines. The ideas of the extended synthesis were positively reviewed by Anya Plutinsky for the National Center for Science Education.